Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I'm a big fan of KISS looms, and I am cooperating with Kelly at KISS to present to you a whole series of looming techniques, especially for KISS. We're going to do this on all sorts of KISS looms, so you get to see every basic technique on your own loom. Welcome and enjoy. Whoops, I am knitting on my FG0 making a pair of socks and I have discovered a mistake. I'm going to try to show it to you and then I'll show you how to fix it. Somehow or other I did not knit this row on this stitch. See that bar? It should be knitted but it's not. Most likely I did knit it and it popped off and I didn't realize it. So how are we going to fix it? It's not a piece of cake, but it's not a disaster either. First, I'm going to poke my tool through where it occurs so that when I flip the loom right side up, it will be much clearer what line of stitching this is. Now you can clearly see it. It is this stitch. So I'm going to drop it. Get the tool out of the way and use the tool to help me ladder it down. Pulling down on the knitting at the same time as unraveling. And there we have the mischievous stitch. I strongly recommend you get a latch tool for this. Technically speaking, you can do this with a crochet hook, but the latch tool will make it much easier because it closes around the stitch. So I have grabbed the last correct stitch going to push the tool through and grab that naughty rung and each rung thereafter just chain up there I pull it through push the tool forward past the closure of the latch pull through in case you're unfamiliar with the latch tool this is a machine knitting tool and what you want is one for a standard gauge machine and hang the final loop on the needle I mean peg you cannot see that there was a problem anymore and there's not a problem anymore let's look at the back make sure and it's okay now there is a problem in the next column of stitches over I thought there might be and it shows up now that the first one is corrected so let's see about correcting it. Mark the stitch. Flip it up. And drop it off. However, this one was a knit stitch. The last one was a purl stitch, so I could latch it up from the inside. Ladder down. Ladder down. There's the trouble. Somehow or other, one row got caught on the next row. So this time I need to put my tool in from the back of the work. Well, it's not really the back. From the other side, based on what we did before. And it's a little harder to make the latch work from this side. First of all, you have to make sure you're behind. There we go. I'm definitely behind. And you have to make sure you only grab one rung of the ladder at a time. Pull through. On this side, it's necessary to somewhat exaggerate the movement and double check. There we go. Definitely got one rung. And that's what you're double checking, that you do have a rung and only one rung put into the hook probably using a second tool would be some assistance to me here. And what I'm doing is simply the reverse of the movement that I did to fix the other stitch. I believe this to be the final rung. And on to the peg with it. Looks good from this side now and looks good from that side now. So, disaster averted. The socks are saved. 
Well, this is not an, as easy as doing it right the first time. It's a lot better than redoing the entire project.